I'm Joan Owings from McDonough, Georgia. I've been building parks for 15 years. I own my own skate park, and I'm proud to say that I put food on the table with my manual labor. Man, you labor! And today I'm going to show you how to plan out a skate park. We just ripped out this entire street course, and we're going to redesign it. I'm going to show you how to lay out your pieces and what you want in your design. Um, it's very important to understand your flow of your course and what you're going to do in the future to design and make everything work out for every rider that comes into your park. And the first thing you do is pull out your tape measure and measure your width and your length. This is the space we have to work with. It's long but narrow, but we shouldn't have any problem fitting everything we need in there that people want to skate. When you figure out the pieces you want, you want to figure out your flow by the distance or footage that you're using. You don't want it too close or too far. Right now, less is more. Kids like to push around. But you need everything to be at a proper distance so the speed that you're skating works. You don't have to be a Van Gogh to design skate parks. Here we are with a rough design. As you can see, it's pretty simple. It's all you need to get started. We've got quarter pipes, hubbas, rail, stairs, flat ledges, vert wall. Now that you know the pieces you want, we're gonna go and chalk it out on the floor and make sure everything fits. This is our final draft. We used a program called SketchUp. Now that we've done this, we can go out there, start building, and bring this thing to life. As you can see, this is our final product. This is our skate park. When it's planned right, built right, this is what you get. Nice and sturdy, you can shake it. Nothing left to do but skate it. I'm Joan Owens and thank you for watching Manual Labor.